everybody! Welcome back to Owen's Treat. We're going to be making cinnamon rolls. They're really easy, really simple, and I love them. And so I'm going to be making these for Thanksgiving. They're going to be our dessert. What we're going to be needing for today is two cups of whole milk that has been microwaved a little bit, so it's just warm to the touch. Two and one fourth teaspoon of after dry yeast. Half a cup of melted butter completely. We have half a cup of sugar extra bench flour. We have one tablespoon of baking powder and two teaspoons of salt. And we have four cups of flour and we have an extra cup of flour over here. So it's fi uh, five cups in total of flour, but we divide them into one cup and four cups. Then we have three fourth cup of light brown sugar, two tablespoons of cinnamon, I know, two tablespoons of butter, one and one half tablespoon of milk, half a cup of butter, a half teaspoon of vanilla, then we have three cups of powdered sugar, and then we have on hand a spatula, a whisk, a tiny whisk, and our pans that we're going to put, be putting our cinnamon rolls in. I've already buttered them with the wrappers of the butter that I used to melt this. Two big bowls underneath. Now that we tidied up the place, we have our four main ingredients, which is the active dry yeast, the two cups of milk warm to the touch for uh, body temperature, uh, half a cup of uh, white sugar, and then we have our half cup of melted butter. Now just like we did for the dinner rolls, we're going to combine all these and make a blooming agent. Now this is an, an enriched dough that uses butter and milk, very enriched. So dump the butter into the milk, then along with the sugar, some bubble action there. Then we're going to whisk this together until there is no uh, lumps or any kind of sugar at the bottom, so fully dissolves. Now that everything is mixed up, we're going to be adding our yeast. We're going to just Sprinkle on top. Follow it out. And we're gonna, just like the dinner rolls, we're gonna whisk the yeast pellets into the, I guess you can say, batter sort of thing. And we just wanna make sure all of the yeast particles are hydrated. Now what you're going to do is you're going to let this sit in a warm envi environment for it to bloom. So I have my oven preheating and I'm going to put that right next to the oven. So it's going to bloom for 10 minutes. We just finished blooming our yeast and it, and it looks like it has, it's very active. It has nice little bubbles everywhere. So we're going to dump this into a large bowl. Then we're going to add our four cups of flour. And then we're going to start mixing this together. Here we go, that's what we want. So we're going to scrape the excess dough off the spatula. And then we're going to cover this in cling film. And then we're going to let this rise for an hour. It should have, it should be double its size. We're going to make our filling. We got our half a cup of very softened butter. Uh, we got two tablespoons of cinnamon, and we have our three fourths cup of light brown sugar. So what we're going to first do is we're going to add the butter in, and we're going to kind of just cream that with a fork. Press it down. It's very soft. Now that you have it out of its original shape, we're going to add in the sugar. After we got it all creamed together, we're going to add in our cinnamon. There, now that we have our filling all done, we're going to set this aside and then we're going to move on to our dough. Now that we have our dough out, this has been risen for at least an hour. What you want to do first is that you want to punch it. This releases any gases and it's really fun. Yee, all sticky. Scrape any of it off. You kind of just want to squeeze out all the dough. It's very sticky. That's what you want to see. Got all in my hands. 
Then we're going to add in the, la the last cup of flour that we had, our baking powder, and our salt. You can use a spatula to stir this in, but I'm just going to use my hand because we're going to get dirty anyway because we're going to knead this next. And we got our dough there. We're going to take a little bit of our bench flour. We're going to sprinkle it around. Now you want this dough to be uh, fairly wet, not dry, because this is an enriched dough. Now, you don't have to knead this as much as the dinner rolls or any other recipe, because this is cinnamon rolls. We don't need all the glue. What we do need is that we're just getting any of the gases out that happened when it was rising. We also want to make it look nice. Right now, this is just an amalgamation. Good. Now that that's all included, we're going to take our little last of the bench flour, and we're just going to sprinkle that on generously. But the next part is the best part. From kneading, we have, have our spatula, and we have a rolling pin. So what you want to do first is that you want to kind of use your fingers to shape the dough in the way that it's going to be finely formed. Have our dough in the shape that we want it into a rectangle as we use our fingers. We're going to flour our rolling pin and we're going to flour the dough and then we're going to roll it out into the rectangle. And if, if you see it start to stick, if you see it start to stick, then just add some more flour. You can use a bench scraper to put it even, but I'm just going to use the back of my hand and press it in. Now that we have the shape that we want, we're just going to get any extra bits, dust out any flour that's still on. We're going to add the filling next. We're going to take a spatula and we're going to plop it on. I like to do it in sections because it's easier and it gets it evenly distributed all over the dough. Now that it's filled corner to corner, we're going to roll it next. So what we want is that we want to kind of tightly fold it. And then you kind of just want to keep on going. You want to keep tightly folding that wall. You can use your forearm and your hand to just help it fold really nicely. I have some tears along here. No problem. That's just going to get folded over as we keep on folding over. And don't worry if it looks, because it looks very beefy right now, like a really big log. We can stretch that out later. Sticking to the table. Kind of fold it over. And you kind of just want to use your hands, get under it, and then move it. Move it like so. And then you can just kind of like snake it along. It's very long. And, kind of, and you can stretch it. Try not to stretch it too much, but you can stretch it. We're going to start by cutting the edges off. Because these really have either no filling or they're not good. And they're just not needed. Our buttered tins on the side. So when we cut them, we can just put them in the desired tins. You just want to keep cutting the ends off until you start getting to the swirl that we made. And here's one. Look at the nice swirl on that. And we're just going to plop it in the tin. 
have my first tray done. Look at the swirls on those. They look amazing. Our swirls and our pans. We're going to cover these with a uh, with kitchen towel. Make sure it's clean. I have a kitchen towel right here. And we're just going to cover them. And we're going to let these proof for 30 minutes. So since we just put the cinnamon rolls in the oven, now I have very soft and butter. Then we have our milk, which is about uh, one tablespoon and a half. And then we have a little bit of vanilla that I'm going to add just for flavor. And then we're going to mash this together. I have some sugar. I'm just going to add a tablespoon or two. I'm just eyeballing it because I've made this recipe so many times. It spilled a little bit, but that's okay. You could use a hand mixer, but I don't have that handy, and I don't want to do the extra cleanup, so I'm just going to use the regular mixer. After that, we're just going to add this to our powdered sugar. We finished our frosting, which is just a, like a, a thinner buttercream. Uh, we're going to set this aside inside the fridge, covered with plastic wrap. Then we're going to glaze them on the cinnamon rolls after they've after they baked and cooled. The final result, the cinnamon roll came out perfect and they have a nice spiral in the center and I took one out and now I'm going to frost it. So I got some frosting over here. I'm going to spread that on top. And then take a bite. They taste really good. They have a nice chewy inside. They had a nice finish. And the glaze tops it off.